Hey there, Soul Shines, it's Michelle here, and it is fairly early. This is the very first thing I'm doing Tuesday morning. I have a new series for you, at least for a little while, hopefully for longer. I would love it to go on longer. Um, it is basically, besides inviting you to, you know, join me and shine bright and everything, I'm inviting you to make with us. Uh, Mary, who is on YouTube at Will Work for Yarn, super generous, super delightful lady, um, had a phone conversation with her. That was a lot of fun. She invited me to do a blanket cow with her. Cow is for crochet along, in case you don't know. Um, it's, it just uses single crochets and double crochets. But it's like single crochets in the back loop and um, double crochets in the front loop. It's really easy. Um, surprisingly not boring. I think because you're following a chart and every row is different, you have to pay attention or something. I don't know. But I feel like I actually could get somewhere on this one. So we have been doing it. I, of course, will leave the links below. If you want to join us, you can grab the pattern. It is available for free on the website or you can purchase the pattern. And, sorry, I am still waking up. The, um, it is using Overlay Mosaic. And I'm gonna sneeze. Okay, no sneeze, but it took a minute. All right. So I am going to insert a picture of what Mary has sent me as her progress. And I'm going to try doing these videos every week and let you know the progress we've made. Mary and I are going to be getting together and doing a video chat this week. Um, we're going to talk about it and possibly invite you the week after when we do our next one. I think it would be a lot of fun to invite people. I will tell you right now why I don't do lives right now. Um, I get a lot of anxiety about trying to figure out how to follow the chat and talk to you guys without like doing a video thing. There's something, there's differences about the dynamics because I'm like actually see who's on and trying to talk to you guys. And it just really throws me. Um, I admire that people can do live chats or live videos. I think that's awesome. Technically, I can. Um, I would do better if I had somebody to visit with. I've enjoyed being a guest at one point in time on somebody's channel, but I don't enjoy just talking to nobody. So. If I ever do lives, I think I would want to invite somebody to be a guest or and maybe and or have um, a person whose job it was to monitor the chat to make sure that I don't miss anything important that needs to be noted, if that makes sense. It's not because I don't want to follow along, it's just like I would rather do one or the other. It kind of messes with my brain. So, um, I may figure that out at some point in time. Um, but for now, no, but, um, if you are interested in, uh, doing kind of a crochet group or knit group or bolt yarn group, whatever, um, online, I am hoping to get that going and I'm hoping that this um, project with Mary will help me to get that going and we can invite people to join us. Um, and if we do get it going and invite people to join us, you don't have to be working on the same project as us. So, um, I wanted to put that out there as well. So what have I been doing? Okay. This is what I have. It's a looks like a scarf now yeah. it's not a scarf it's the beginnings of a blanket yet uh mary said it's a blanket for my snake and i was like oh my gosh i love it okay so it's a snake blanket right now um surprisingly 
It didn't, like, I worked on it for three days to get this. Um, which, in some ways, seems like I could have done, I probably could have done it in one or two days, like, done one triangle section and another. Oh, my hair is falling down. Oh, well, I had, um, anyway, um, apparently what I used to hook it up with was not. Anyway, um, crochet, uh, will start to hurt my arm, um, and I have to be careful how I crochet, so sometimes I prefer to knit, so I don't think I'll ever do more than 7 to 10, um, rows a day on this. It's about what my arm can handle. Um, so we'll see how long it takes me to do it, but still, like, the what I, I kind of was looking at the sections, and I, th so a lot of them are right around 25, 27, 29, so, you know, most of them are going to be two to three days work, um, to get through each color section. So I'm really excited about this. I have special plans for this when it's done. Um, when I measured it out from side to side, I measured to be about 60 inches. I'm five foot one, so that is pretty much almost my wingspan. I'm holding it like this. It's almost my full wingspan. Um, because your wingspan is approximately um, the same as your height and uh, my wingspan might be closer to 5'2", but it's going to be somewhere in there. Anyway, random facts. So I have my next yarn. It's orange. Um, these yarns, uh, so for my red, I'm using Mainstays. Um, it's just a four weight, medium weight, um, acrylic yarn, 100% acrylic yarn. Um, mainstays, do they have dialots? I don't know, they might have dialots, if that's the case, oh well. I'm not gonna care about dialots on this one, I'm just gonna make, um, part of why I did it is because it's easier to find a color, the colors. So, um, and because that's what I already had. Except for the red one. I had to go buy the red one because I didn't know of my little balls what was actually this. But this one is next. I also have my yellow here. I have my green here. I have my purple here. But my blue um, doesn't... I don't have my blue. Um, I have blue yarn, but I can't tell... Which blue yarn is mainstays and which blue yarn is, um, like Red Heart Super Saver. And so I'm probably, when I get there, I'm probably going to buy a blue. It will help me to match it and we'll make sure I have enough for both blue sections. Because each color has two sections except for the purple. Um, it also does a border... She does an envelope border, um, and she does kind of a rainbow envelope border, and I'm debating about doing that or using purple, because the person that I'm making this for, her favorite color is purple. So I might do the envelope border just in purple, or purple and my gray color. So the gray color is Big Twist Soft Gray. Uh, it's gray and it reads gray, but also is um, kind of has a taupey uh, brownish tint to it, like a French gray. So I actually really like this gray a lot. Um, so I have that is my background color. And if you turn these over, it look it stripes. Is because you literally like I worked my last row in gray. Um. My next row is also, I think, in gray because I'm switching colors, but normally you would work 
um, your row of gray and then your row of red and your row of gray and your row of red. Normally you work the alternating colors because how you get your thing is you, you work along in the back loops. So these are all uh, back loop single crochets. And then when you get to um, where you need the color to do a thing, you do a front loop down with the gray in front. You always hook it into the same color that you're using. So I will never hook gray into my red loops. Will always be gray into gray and red into red or whatever color you're using. It's kind of fun. And it gets this really fun design. So I'm excited about it. I think it's doing great. And like I said, if you would like to join us, uh, just send me pictures of your progress by Monday at midnight um, so that I can put them in on my Tuesday video. And that's if you want to do it. If you don't want to do it, that's fine. You don't have to. Mary and I are doing it, but we would love it if other people would join us. If you've already made this, we would love to see your finished objects. Um, and it doesn't matter if you keep up with us or if you're behind us. I imagine that Mary and I will not be working at the same pace. Uh, she is making hers twice the width. She's doubling her width. She's also using the smaller yarn that the original pattern came for. Called for it. Called for a three. I'm using a four. Um, her background color looks more white. Mine's more gray. I was thinking um, it kind of could look cool with the black background. Um, what else? Anyway, so if you want to participate, let me know. If you are interested in joining me in um, a like a yarn group, uh, an online yarn group where we just get together and we video chat with each other, it's not going to be posted on YouTube. It's just get together, video chat while we work on whatever projects we're working on. If you're interested in that, also let me know. You can email me or you can um, just leave a comment below. Although, if you do want it, you'll have to email me because I'll need to know the link to send you or where to send you the link. Anyway, um, that's it today. Remember, let your light shine through your creations and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.